This is a request video that I'm doing for 13 doll, 13 face. And she asked me, please explain how I parted my hair to dye it like this and how I keep the colors from bleeding into each other. I have some time, so I'll do that right now. Okay, um, I'm not actually going to dye my hair or anything because it's already done. Okay, first off, to part my hair like this is really, really, really simple. It's all about what you really want. It, there's no specific way to do it. For instance, the black underneath, I wanted more blonde. You can't really see it when you move the hair. Some girls want more than that to where you can see black like in between and there's barely any blonde on top. So you choose how much you want for the back part. The back part is easy. I guess I'll start with the front. Okay, so with the front, you brush your hair down. Okay, you decide how much black you want underneath your bangs and how close you want it to start. If you want your black to go all the way around without a break, you just pull down all that hair, okay? For me, first what I do is just split it like this. Okay, so then I'll pull this up and I'll pull down the black hair. I'm doing this by looking at a little tiny screen, so give it a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, basically, you can see where mine was, but okay, you would make your own line of thin hair right here. So if you wanted it to go all the way around, you would leave this blonde piece down. But since I don't, I actually slant it right there. Let's see. Okay. I just keep pulling the black hairs down that I want. Of course, you're not going to be able to do that until you actually do it. So, okay, basically... You do like a line like that. However much hair you want. See, it's very, it's a very thin amount, but it, it makes a difference. So whatever you feel like you want, this is the rest. I'll just like leave this back. Okay. So then you would pin this back, and you go on to the side. The size you can do whatever you want, but some people, what I do is remain framing my face. See. Just make a straight line right here and pull this up. Of course, the colors are mixing right now. I'm doing this on the freaking smallest screen ever. Okay. So you basically you decide everything. I mean, if you want thick pieces right here, you take down some more of this. Either way, just whatever you do, though, try to keep it into a line. So that way, it's easier to find it whenever you're trying to redo it. So there, basically. I didn't want too much on this side because I don't have that much on this side. So then you take this and you pin it back too. Why am I listening to this song? I don't know. Okay, so put that all together. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now you want to move to the other side first in the front. Okay. So you would take your hair and do the exact same thing that you did on the other side, like a slant like that, or however you want it. If you want a little, put a little. Put a lot, put a lot. All you gotta do is pull your hair back basically and choose how much hair you want underneath down to turn black. Okay. So then. I do above my ear. I'll get to that part in one second. Okay, so now you pin this part back with the rest of the hair. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. Once you get all the hair up, you're gonna put it in a ponytail, but at this point, you wouldn't be done yet. Okay, so now notice the lines. They're, they're made up myself based on what I wanted. And so to redo it is really easy if you do some straight lines because then you just pull it down and you pull the pieces up or down. It's easier to pull the black, some blonde down than it is to pull some black up because it's easier to turn blonde black than it is to try to turn this black into blonde. Okay, so over the ear part right here is where it gets a little complicated. You want it to lead into the back of your hair. So what I do 
is basically like the smallest, not even an inch. But you can do a lot more if you want more. Like I said, if you want it to start all the way up here, you can. You want to start down here, you can. Basically right here, you start to make a straight line for the back. And from here, same thing, right above the ear, and go back. Okay, somebody else would have to do this part for you, because obviously I can't even do it myself, see? What you do in the back is you end up, your hair is down, and you actually end up going around, you take a comb, do like that with the comb, your friend will do it for you, or whoever. Do like that, split the hair, however much you want. So like if you want it down here, you put it down here. Up here, you put it up here. Mine is, let's see. How much is mine? I'm not sure. It's not too much. It's actually not enough, actually. It might not be enough. Okay, so I don't know if you can see how much blonde I have compared to black back here. Let's just say it starts around here. You would take your hair and go like this and separate it. Okay, this is not obviously right, you know, like I'm sure there's black at the top, obviously. But you would separate the hair like this, depending on how much hair you want it up or down. You can move this line up here if you wanted to. It depends on how much you want, okay? So then take it all of it. When you're done parting it all, all around your head should have a line of hair down that's ready to be dyed black. So what you do with that is you put it into a ponytail. And then you, you probably want to put it in a bun if you have enough hair because you don't want it to touch the black hair. And this is the part where I will tell you how I make sure that they don't bleed into each other. It's really simple, actually. Okay, I look so weird right now. Sorry, people. Um, okay, so now that you did that, the best thing when you're doing this, you're gonna take a brush once you're done mixing all the black together and you're gonna, you know, put it on your hair like that. Or get somebody else to do it and make sure they don't touch your roots, right? Or touch the blonde hair. To prevent any kind of spread by accident, like say they accidentally touch it and you gotta hurry up and wipe it off. You one, you wanna try to hurry up and wipe it off with water on a towel, just like scrub it off. But two, to even prevent it in the first place, you take conditioner. I've tried petroleum jelly or like uh, anything like jelly like. Um, it's like water resistant almost. So petroleum jelly though doesn't come out of your hair. So when you're like trying to wash your hair out later, it's gonna feel disgusting. So use conditioner. Get some conditioner, squeeze it in your hand. And do like this, okay, take it and put it all right here on top of your hair. So that way, not even all the way up to here, but from like the part to right here. So that that way, if it touches, the black touches up here, it doesn't spread. And the same thing you want to do right here. Keep rubbing it up like that. And you'll take it and squirt some in your hand again. And around the back, you'll do the same thing towards the top. So that way, like I said, they don't accidentally touch each other. This hair is going to stay up here. Okay, this is if you are trying to do only the black at the bottom. So you leave this hair up here. You put the conditioner right there. And then also take the conditioner and put it right here on the side of your face. From here to here. And under here to here. And sometimes on your eyebrows because it might dye your eyebrows. And when your hair is going to be dyed like this, it's going to be sitting on your face. And it's going to dye your face. Which it comes off, but it's, it's better if it... It doesn't have it in the first place. It takes a few days to come off. So you want to put all the conditioner, like slop it onto your face. So that way, when you're doing this and it's touching your face and stuff, when you move, it doesn't, when you wipe it off, it comes off with the conditioner. It's also going to get on your neck. So you might want to put some on your neck. So basically put it everywhere you don't want the dye to really stick to you. It's going to stick in a little bit in some spots, but it helps a lot. Okay, so next, you apply it all around your hair all the black that you want it to put it on and leave it when you're ready to wash it get in the shower if you don't have a shampoo bowl okay get into the shower and go like this with your hair and like rinse it like as much as you can like that keep this hair up still keep on rinsing it like that and take shampoo and rinse only this part and do like that so that way you get all the black out you want to like scrub it and you're gonna see the black come out and stuff okay do the same thing right here, just scrub it over and over like that. That's what I do. And um, I'm like simulating. And just keep doing it like that. Keep rinsing it to where it feels like really stringy and dry almost. You can shampoo it twice if you need to. Then you take the blonde down with it and you can wash them together and it doesn't bleed into each other at all once you wash the black enough. 
Okay, so that's how you keep them from bleeding. If you want to do the reverse, if you already have the black underneath and you want to do the blonde on top, what you do then is reverse of what I, I just said. You take the conditioner and instead of putting it on this hair, you put it all over this hair and you want to like try to wrap the hair up like this. I'm so ugly. Um, sorry about that, my big forehead and things. And you like wrap the hair up, put conditioner all up in it, put conditioner in as much as you can and take it in the back like this and put it into a ponytail. Can we, let me show you that. So you want to almost soak the hair in conditioner if you want to be really safe. But you don't have to be that safe because uh, if you do get some bleach on the black, all you got to do is put more black on top of it because you can cover that. That's easy. What you don't want to do is get the black in here. So you take the Okay, I ran out of memory on that first one, so this is another memory card. <laughs> so let me continue. Um, I don't remember the last thing I was saying, but... Uh, okay, so I was saying basically put this in conditioner and then you want to take this hair and stick it inside of your shirt to protect it and put a cape on if you're doing it professionally or whatever or put a towel around your neck, okay? So from there, this hair would be like stuck to your face, okay? So it would be like not movable. And then you would take this hair. Just imagine that it's stuck to my face because it's not. And you take... Ow! Ouch! Okay. You take the top hair down, okay, the other hair is in the back in a ponytail right here. Take this hair down, you imagine this will all be turning blonde, okay? And then bleach your hair the way that you know to, okay? The way I do it, obviously, is I do my roots and, you know, spread it, put the roots, spread it, go around the whole head, and then put the bleach towards the ends. So that is how, let me take this off so I don't look stupid. Okay, this is weird feeling. I feel like I really have things in my hair. Okay, so that is how you would do it. It's not very hard, and, and it's also fun because you can, you know, choose as much hair as you'd like. As I said, the haircut is completely different. Um, the haircut that I have, she, I don't know how she did this, but to where the black comes out the bottom. It's interesting. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. You know. But anyway, um, so that's that's it for how. I get my hair color like this. Um, if you have any more questions, ask me and I'll make a video and I hope this really helps. So thanks for watching. Love you guys.